Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nisse and today I'm gonna build something I I personally think every single zoo out there should have, but I don't really know of any that that has it. Uh, and that is a doggy daycare. If you are a dog lover like me, you probably also love to bring your dog along on vacation and sometimes on that vacation you like to visit a zoo. A lot of zoos, uh, in Denmark anyway, allow you to bring your dog so you can go around the zoo with your dog. But a lot of dogs actually can get hurt by actually walking too much. Uh, and. And sometimes you just have an old dog that get tired easily or it's just too hot for your dog and it needs to take a break somewhere where there's shadow and some a bottle of water uh, maybe a little snack or something like that and there I personally think a doggy daycare would be perfect I gotta add dogs into this daycare of course today um, and I using the two mods there are out there for dogs which would be the Pembroke Welsh Corgi and the Golden Retriever uh, both are mods made by Leaf Production and I link both mods in the description along with my review of both mods and a tutorial by Leaf Production on how to install mods into your game I did have a clear idea about how what I wanted to do with this daycare, but I had no idea of how to do it. Uh, so it kind of just started by shaping out some kennel cages. Uh, I think it would be important that actually have cages, even though I don't like an, uh, dogs in small cages. I do believe in a daycare like this, where there are many dogs that don't know each other, it would be important that they have the opportunity to come into a, a cage on their own, maybe just for a break or maybe just because their owner just left them for maybe half an hour while they get something to eat or something. But of course there will be a bigger grassy area uh, where the dogs could, could run around and play together as well. As you see here, I, I actually really wanted to have some windows for the dogs so they got a lot of fresh air. Um, but, but I actually scratched that idea pretty soon because I don't wanted people to stress these dogs. Uh, again, these dogs wouldn't be zoo dogs, they would be uh, private uh, pets and not really be... Yeah, they would be used to humans, but they wouldn't be used to 5,000 humans staring at them. Uh, <laughs> one after one uh, so i thought it would be important to give them some more uh, privacy so that's where the just straight concrete wall came up and i chose to make the building three meters because i just think sometimes four meters is just too high uh, and then the fence around here i made was two meters high um, and i just would chose the wood because I'm gonna um, make it overgrown later on so I just thought it fit nicely if you like the roof I put on here it's actually also from a mod it's called General Zoo Props I think General Zoo something uh, and it's by Jojo and uh, I, I will link that as well uh, below uh, again here I didn't really know what exactly I wanted with the roof so here I go back in and edit it and it's you will see in a lot of my builds I do go back in and edit things I have edited before um, because I never really know what I want from a build before I actually are done with it and sometimes actually I while I'm making this cinematic for a build I go back and redo some things uh, there are a few things here I actually added after I was done with the build so there will be some cuts later on in the video because there's just something I notice when I 
staring at it for hours to get the good cinematic. The wall I add here instead of the concrete is from the same mud as the roof. Uh, channel Zoo props, I think, uh, by Jojo. And again, it's linked below if you want to see it. Uh, again, I love th I, these two pieces, these walls and this roof is my is some of my favorite things to use in the game. Uh, so I kind of feel like that mud is a must have. Again, same wall I use here. I wanted somewhere else, so I was sure that there will always be some kind of um, person from the zoo uh, taking care of the dogs. The dogs wouldn't just be left in here. People wouldn't be allowed to just go in and and do things to the dogs themselves, uh, take them at home. Uh, uh, or put them into the cage or anything like that. I would want someone to be in here per permanently um, to take care of all of that and feeding and that kind of thing. It's would it wouldn't really be a keeper in a daycare like that. Maybe it would be like a, a young worker. Um, I don't know what it's called in English, but. I wouldn't say child labor, but maybe something someone who's 16 or 17 year old having a summer job could take care of this. Uh, of course, they would have some kind of older manager they always could call that could stop by. But just to make sure that always something, if, if they turn over the water bowl, someone then can clean it up easy, give them some new straw uh, and fill the bottle. <laughs> and fill the bowl so they always will have something in it. So I, it actually just an information center I added in here, but again, this it's the story in my head that counts for me, so I think it fits perfectly. Now I chose to put actually quite a bit of text up on this building, both because I wanted people to know it was there, even though maybe you left your dog at home because you. Uh, didn't want it to walk around too much that day um, but but then when you arrive then you can see there are they care for the dog and then you maybe want to bring your dog another day so kind of to entice people to want to bring their entire family along to the zoo which for me always includes the animals maybe not bring your cat or your pit pig or what what you have for an animal but the dog is always easy to bring along and they would be welcome with open arms in this zoo um i do also think about making a daycare like this for kids uh, without the cages of course but somewhere where the kids can kind of just play around with uh, some amount of supervision. Sometimes uh, kids can just lose interest in things even though they're really looking forward to seeing all the animals and they want to see all the animals but they just at one point they just have too much energy uh, they need to run out of the body um, and and I think about maybe, maybe make some kind of daycare for that i'm not sure yet uh, that's just an idea so if uh, please tell me below if, what you thought of that idea would be um yeah just bring in some life because we are in europe um in a timber too and in the winter it gets dark quite early so uh, we don't want the dogs to be in total darkness. And I use concrete in the bottom of every single cage because it would be so easy not only to clean but to totally disinfect. Maybe if you, someone booked a cage in the morning hours then you can clean, disinfect it quite fast before someone shouldn't use it in the afternoon. I kind of have an idea that you would book it for when you book the cage that you would probably do that from home and when you do that you would notice if your dogs uh, if you want your dog to play with other dogs or if you wanted to stay in the cage uh, i kind of feel like that would be an individual thing i do use straw in the cages and i 
kind of went back and forth on a bit because it would be cheap for a zoo to use straw that they already have inside of the cages but the guests would probably not be that happy about their dogs being especially dogs with long fur uh, be totally covered in straws afterwards uh, however the straws would be able to completely sh uh, swap out between dogs uh, where if you have had a, a dog bed or a mattress then you would reuse the same and it wouldn't be as clean I do go extremely basic with the foliage even though both dogs like the same four biomes and like a uh, foliage for every single continent out there uh, I do still use to just go for, with the temperate, temperate European biome uh, because that's where we are so that would be the cheapest and easiest uh, solution upkeep wise here you can see I use these uh, hanging uh, bushes, I don't know what they're called um, to kind of make it all seem a bit old and overgrown uh, and it's kind of a tactic I use this I wouldn't want every single guest to go in here and pet the dogs and look at them because the dogs don't aren't a part of the zoo they are on vacation and they need peace and quiet and they are probably already a bit stressed uh, because of all the people around the zoo so when they come in here they need to be safe and just enjoy the peace and quiet uh, of course they will still play around with other dogs uh, but they need to get a bit away from all the people uh, so it would only be the people who have a dog in here that would be allowed to enter also why I wanted someone from the zoo to be in this habitat all day long. Uh, this is also why I chose to have exactly zero viewing points around the habitat. You will be able to go all the way around this habitat but you wouldn't be able to see the dogs from any angle. Luckily both dogs like the exact same enrichment so I just go with the ones I think is the most uh, pet dog like. That would be the chew toy, the balls, and then the bamboo feeder where they can really just sit and snack on it. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. I do get an issue here with the, the cages. Apparently both dogs need exact at least two meters to be able to enter uh, the cage. So I need them to be all the way open uh, with isn't optimal i would like the cage to be like a meter maybe a meter and a half open but uh, we're gonna work with it the way it is at this point i think it would be nice for the guests that uh, lift the dog here to actually be able to see how well the dog is doing so i kind of decided to just add cameras into every single cage of course i wouldn't have uh, cameras out where they can play with other dogs because then the guests could see the other people's dogs as well so i kind of tried to place the cameras so they would only be able to see into their own cage and make sure that their dog is having a good time um, of course here when the cages are open the dogs are able to run into each other's cage and then after this i added a speaker that would maybe be a, a kind of information to the guests about this daycare so they know next time they can bring their dog if they remember to book a cage from home and then some nice music and in here I add two educational boards in my head it's more uh, information about the rules when you're in here with your dog you need to respect the other dogs you need to be okay with the other dogs things like that uh, but I already talked way too long egg yet again so please enjoy the cinematic and uh, yeah enjoy
so that's it for today guys uh, if you made it this long then you probably know the drill like subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time i upload a video i really hope to see you again at the end of the comments below or in the next video bye guys